Hi, in this movie we're going to see how the diode laser can be used with implants. You can see the ankylos implant here in the lower first molar region and what we're trying to do is remove the healing uh, collar here to expose the implant. Here's the implant crown on the die and the underneath the implant itself. Once the healing cap was removed, you can see there's a bit of tissue and the abutment was placed in. We notice a tissue on the mesial aspect here. We're just using topical only with the diode laser, the Picasso light, in pulsed mode at 1.6 watts pulsed. That's 30 microseconds on, 30 microseconds off. And we're using sh short brush strokes here with a 90 degree tip, 10 millimeters in length, that is being used to remove soft tissue around the uh, implant itself. Now this was done with only topical and we're going to uh, be able to remove enough tissue that we can finally seat the crown which up until this time was not able to be seated fully. You can notice there's no interaction with the metal from the implants and that we are allowed to remove in a bloodless field the tissue allowing for the full seating of the crown to be done. At this point you'll, you can clean this up with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and uh, be able to seat your crown after you've completed the uh, removal of the tissue on the uh, margin. Here it is immediately afterwards with some VPS in the uh, hole and you can see a, a clear view of the mesial aspect here of the, um, uh, the, the, the abutment and how clean the tissue is on there. The crown is seated and fully seated and uh, cemented into place. What's interesting is in the radiograph here you can see how there's an open margin on the left and on the right, you can see the fully seated crown. I want to thank you for your attention and keep lazing. It's amazing.